Namaste, Scorpio, and welcome to your December angel reading. If you can close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God. Dropping into your shoulders, releasing the stress and the anxiety from the day. Inhaling again. Feeling that tingle coming in through your crown chakra. Feeling that waterfall of divine love and light. Dropping into your heart, activating your trinity flame for love truth and empowerment, evoking now the Saint Germain and the Violet Flame. Take one more deep inhale into your heart, calling forward your Ascended Masters, your Spirit Guides and Angels for healing any messages on your behalf. Now evoking Archangel Raphael to the east, healing your body, mind and soul. Archangel Michael to the south, shielding and clearing. Archangel Gabriel to the west for channeling and communication. To the north, evoking Archangel Uriel for divine light, forgiveness, compassion. Bringing that miracle in the 11th hour. From below, we evoke Archangel Sandalfin, grounding us to Mother Earth. He said to be the angel that takes our prayers to heaven. And from above, we evoke Archangel Metatron for ascension, bringing the God self, the Christ consciousness. And as you take this inhale, your vibration is rising, raising your frequency. We declare this our sacred space. We are safe now in all four corners of the universe. Oh, disappeared. All right. Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know for December? Best for last. So, new beginnings. This kind of came in upside down, Scorpio. So, you have the capacity to have a new beginning come in for December, and I feel that you have to be very mindful about it. Romance is coming in, Scorpio. I feel like this is your this is your month, a time of celebration. Hmm. Thank you, angels, a soulmate. What? Divine guidance. So this came in upside down. So I feel that it's important for you just to be very mindful with your angels. They are guiding you with Scorpio, you've been praying, you've been manifesting, you've been meditating for soulmate, romance, new beginnings, celebration. This is a beautiful week. You got to take it. So listen to your angels. They are communicating to you through your dreams. Any other guidance for Scorpio for December? Retreat. So some of you may retreat. Um, and they're putting the retreat over new beginnings and soulmate. So I feel that you may need to retreat to meditate and to just take it slow. The, this is your answered prayer. You can't make this stuff up, Scorpio. So you've been praying for new love. You've been praying for this. Your angels are communicating through signs, synchronicities, and I feel that you're seeing them. Let's get one more. Oh, Abundance. Man, the Scorpio, this is like your, this is an awesome raid. And you knocked down my lucky charms. So, B. So you're going to be a busy B for, whoa, you got busy B and you knocked down passport. So there's some traveling. Let's see what else is going on for Scorpio. What else is going on for Scorpio for December Angels? What else? Writing. So writing for you would be very important. Journaling your thoughts. 
uh, for some of you, I'm hearing you have a book. We all have a book in us, and December is a good time for you to start writing that book. Travel. Mm -mm -mm. Your life purpose involves traveling. That's why you got the little passport. Scorpio Builder. You and in, you innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So you're going to be building something. There's a new beginning that you're building. They're putting that over abundance signs, dreams, and celebration. So this new celebration, this new beginning is going to bring you, you're going to be building something that's going to bring you abundance. And crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. I just took a class on crystals. So maybe reading books. Kyle Gray is really good for crystals. Um, Doreen Virtue offered a class on crystals. What else? What else, angels? Does Scorpio need to know for December? All right. So, sun love is coming in upside down. So, I feel that you may. This may all be happening a little too much because believe in yourself came upside down and trust came upside down. So, I feel that. This may be happening a little too much all at once for you because you're getting, this is a beautiful read, Scorpio. So I feel that it's very important to just send love, send love to yourself and send love to those around you because this is, you're getting it all. This was, this is one of the better reads for December. Chosen, make a difference in people's lives. Oh, so you were chosen to make a huge difference. Take charge. Leadership, self-discipline requires take control of your life. And Midas Star, luck in your life. Set the ma let the magic happen. I don't know how much more magic you can get there, Scorpio. It's, this is beautiful. Like I can't stop smiling for you. What does ooh, Scorpio? You do need to surrender some unhealthy relationships. So I feel that for some of you, you do have somebody in your past. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable toxic people. You deserve to be treated, treated, treasured, I don't know I'm getting this accent, by others, to be surrounded by positive people. All right, what else does Scorpio need to surrender, angels? Surrender to the divine. So no trying to control the outcome. Mm -hmm. Surrender to your soul's purpose. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Yay! Guidance, angels, for Scorpio for December. Hmm. Thank you, angels. So trust your intuition for December, and that's going over... Um, and your angels are just letting me know, for the new beginning with your soulmate, you do have to release a toxic relationship from your past. And your angels are asking you to trust your intuition. You're being asked to be discerning. And that's coming under, like, travel, your answered prayers. We're getting a lot here. Magic. Believe in the magic. You are magic. Passion. Do what ignites your soul. And release, I'm going to read this past life because this is, this is a really strong message. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Let's get your lucky charms, lucky charms. What does Scorpio need to know for sugar? December, one fall. You're getting, you are a shining shooting star. You're getting the... Um, Starfish to go slow and traveling, getting the airplane. So that could be tra somebody's traveling to you. Oh my gosh. You got the bee again, Scorpio. Oh, that means for December, you're going to be such a busy bee. Busy, busy bee. Let's see our initials, what you're getting. Excuse me. All right, so J, so your name could begin with a J, or a G, or there could be a person with a G in your life. All 
I'm so excited. Let me know how it goes for December, Scorpio. Super excited for you. Um, I hope this resonated. Please like, share, and subscribe if it did. I do personal angel readings, healings, and clearings with your angels. Do angelic Reiki too. And I have Soul Group Tribe, which is a tribe I do readings, um, weekly readings and weekend readings, meditations. And that's all I have. I'm sending much love, love, love and light. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.